hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we want to remove the player ui whenever the cutscene starts and also we don't want to show the player in our cutscene okay when the bus approach this point as you can see we can sh uh, see the player right there okay so we actually don't want that we want that when the bus leaves this area then we want to show the player okay so now in order to do that let's click on the bus and to this bus let's add a layer which will be by the name of bus okay then click on the bus and add this layer to it then let's change into scene view this is the bus okay let's uh, double click on our player cut scene right here this is the player now what we will do right here is let's just add a empty game object okay click on that and click on empty game object and let's name this as show player collider and then on this game object let's add a box collider now let's edit this box collider okay it is right there at the top so what we can do we can just move this down below and create a wall of this uh, box collider okay like this so now what we can do with this box collider is now we can move it a little bit backward right there okay let's click on our cut scene and whenever now the bus will hit this box collider okay so as you can see this is the position now if we click on show uh, player collider let's edit it and as you can see this is our box collider so what we can do we can just move this box collider a little bit backward like there for example then click on the cutscene again and as you can see this is now the bus okay so whenever the bus hits its point then we will show the player okay so now we have the cutscene box collider right here okay as you can see let's make this is triggered then what we can do is go inside the scripts folder and in here let's create a folder by the name of cutscene scripts in here let's create a new c -sharp script by the name of show cutscene player actually okay let's name this as show cutscene player then let's click on the show player collider drag and drop the script right there and now let's open this up in visual studio code and after this let's get back right here click on this bus and as you can see we have added this bus on the layer bus also let's tag this as bus as well okay because now we need the tag of the bus so let's add a bus tag right there click on bus and add this bus tag okay to this bus then right here what we will do first of all we will be needing a reference to our player our cutscene player okay so we will say public game object and let's name this as cutscene player then right down below we will create a on trigger enter function and in here we will say that if the bus hits the collider okay which we created then if the bus hits that collider what we will do we will activate the player so for that we will simply say if other dot game object and as you can see i mean as you know that we have tag our bus as bus so we will say if other dot game object dot tag equal equals to bus then what we will do we will simply activate our cutscene player so we will say cutscene dot set active and let's set this to true that is it and now we can just save this script but before saving it make sure that it the object okay the o of the object is capital that is it and now if we get back right here okay click on this show player collider right here now it needs the player cutscene 
so this is the player cut scene drag and drop that in there and then what we can do is right here simply click on player cut scene and deactivate this that is it now make sure that your is trigger is true and to the bus you have added the bus tag okay forgot the layer but make sure that you add the tag bus okay now if we play the game as you can see now the bus is moving slowly okay let's actually click on the scene view there is the bus okay and let's see how does it will look okay the police officers are walking in the way we actually don't want that but don't worry we will fix that okay okay so the bus passes but it didn't show the player as you can see so the reason it didn't show the player right here is due to the bus okay as you know that on our bus we have added the tag but we don't have any collider on our bus and also no rigid body so then how will the script be able to detect the bus tag okay if the bus doesn't have any collider or something like that okay so if we click on this bus okay right here first of all or add a box collider okay and if you click on this added collider as you can see it is already set up and after this make sure that you add a rigid body on this bus as well okay as you can see there is the box collider rigid body now if we save this okay and let's start the game again now as you can see the bus is moving there it is okay let's move right there to our player cutscene area right here okay and as you can see now the bus is coming in this way now you will notice that the bus will stop right here and as you can see now they are walking and there it is as you can see you saw the player right there it shows the player when the bus hits the collider hey what's in the bag show it to me so now as you know that it works perfectly fine okay now we need to just uh, set up the camera okay i mean work on our camera so if we play the game again let me just see it again okay in the game view first of all we will be removing the player ui so in this way we will see our cutscene okay let me turn on the mini camera for now as you can see when the bus stops there okay it will focus up like that and as you can see it will show the player then and they will walk towards the player hey what's in the bag show it to me it's none of your business just give us the bag or we will shoot you right here right now okay okay please don't shoot okay so in this way our cutscene will happen okay when he say please don't shoot please don't shoot we will move uh, camera closer to our player okay and right here we will add now a box collider and when the camera hits that box collider we will end our cutscene right there and then from there our game will continue okay so let's just do that in the next video because our videos are becoming a lot more lengthier in our cutscene section okay so let me just end this right here